Simon I'm from KPI, Kip Paranormal Investigations, and uh, I'm here at a place that I've been to a couple of times. I've uh, got a couple of REM pods on the floor. I've got a camera over there as well, talking to me for REM pods. And uh, because of lockdowns, uh, because of COVID restrictions and all the rest of it, can't really go to any paranormal places at the moment. Um, but I can come here because I actually work what used to be on Fort Bridgewood. Now I've been here, obviously, well obviously I come here every, every uh Hi, welcome, it's Simon from KPI, Kent Paranormal Investigations and I've got a couple of REM pods down there and they are going off like crazy at the moment I'm nowhere near them and I'm absolutely excited to be here again back at Fort Bridgewood Now I work here um, in one of the warehouses uh, It used to be an old fort uh, that used to look after uh, the Thames and mainly the uh, Chatham Dockyard. Um, now I've been down here before with uh, REM pods and I've had three REM pods, uh, three other times where REM pods have gone off. Uh, they're going off at the moment and um, I think there's something here with me and I can't wait to uh, like get my spirit box out so I've got a spirit box here Okay, I uh, did have a hit on this spirit box, and I do believe a Second World uh, Soldier, Second World War Soldier is here. So, um, I'm going to see if I can make contact with him again. But, basically, all I wanted to do is come down here, give you a bit more content, because it's very hard at the moment for anyone to get content, because of lockdowns and Covid. So, it's really, really hard for us to do any of that. Uh, but once the lockdowns have been lifted, then we're going to introduce you to the rest of the team. And obviously, stick with us guys, because we've got some great locations, some really great haunted locations. So for all you paranormal junkies out there, we've got some real good stuff coming. And we're also going to go to one of the most haunted, poltergeist, um locations within the UK okay so I've got spirit box I've also got the K2 meter as well so I'm gonna see if I can get any hits with that um, I've got this camera I did have two cameras but the other cameras died on me so as these are going off the other camera died on me so I've had to come over to this camera and um, basically retell you what is going on um, I've got this recorder, so I might do some EVPs, and also uh, I've got a temperature gun. So if the temperature on the spirit box changes, then I'm going to like see if it changes on the gun. So anyway, enough of me jabbering on. Please subscribe to our channel subscribe to the channel we're not putting up much content guys because of lockdown and covid but once them lockdowns are lifted and we can start getting out there there are some great great footage coming some great haunted locations so if you're really into this stuff we are going to show you some fantastic stuff coming up this year hopefully so um yeah so basically um hit the subscribe button and that's enough of me chatting at the moment Let's see what we capture tonight. So on the floor I've got uh, two REM pods. Um, they have been going off. Um, so I'm going to see if they're going to go off again for us. But I've got the uh, spirit box as well, so I'm going to have a spirit box session. And I'm going to do a KE2 uh, session as well. So I'll probably do that next. 
and also I'm going to do some EVP to see if we can pick up any uh, voices from the other side. So let's have a look. So at the moment, I've put the uh, I put the spirit box down there. I've put it on mute uh, at the moment. I just want to see if the temperature changes, and if it does, then I'm going to point my laser um, temperature gun at it. So let's turn on let's turn on this device. Get some power going on this, and see if we can pick up any voices. So hi, my name's Simon, and I'm here again. You've probably seen me before. Uh, I was talking to a spirit, um, I think it was last week, actually, that was changing the temperature on this box in the middle here. Now, I brought some of my other devices with me, and what I want to do is I want to talk to the World War II soldier that's here. Or anybody else that might be here. So if you are here, I've got another device in my left hand that can hear you talking. So if you want to say something to me, speak into this device. Are you a World War II soldier that used to be based at Fort Bridgewood? If you are, can you change the temperature for me on this device down here? Or can you make one of these REM pods go off for me? They were going off earlier, and now it's all gone quiet again. Don't be shy, I'm not here to harm you, and none of this equipment will harm you. Can you tell me your name? Well, that's crazy, guys, because the battery got drained on my other camera, and now the battery on this has just got drained. So, and what I can't understand with this is I did charge, I, I charge everything, so for some reason the battery's been drained on that as well. Two devices where the battery's joined. Now the temperature's just changed.
Well guys, you need to come over here. Right, this temperature is really dropping. This has got minus two around this spirit box. Okay, is there a second world war soldier here with us tonight? Okay, is there a second world war soldier here with us tonight? That REM pod over there has just gone off when I asked if there was a second world war soldier here with us. I got this reaction last time I was here. If you're a second world war soldier, can you say something in this spirit box? Did you used to be a second world war soldier? on this uh, device in front of me. Can you touch this device that's in, in my hand? This black box that's got the green light on it. Can you touch that for me? Then I will know you're here. Wow, this has gone down to as far as it can go in temperature. That's minus five in temperature change. Soldier, can you go over to that device? Walk over to that device over there, and it'll go off. Or speak into this box. Say yes if you're a World War Two soldier. Was you based at Fort Ridgewood? Did you used to look after the Medway and Chatham Dockside?
What was your name? How long did you serve here at Fort Woodward? Can you go back to one of these devices for me? Even this one here, this one here in my hands, this green light. Can you make the colours change? If you go near it, if you go near that device, the colours will change. Well, thank you for your time. I'm going to go now. If you don't want me to go, if you want me to stay and chat to you, set that box off over there. Make it make a noise. No, I feel like you're talking to me. And I'm going to have to view the camera when I get back. But I know you're a World War II soldier. There's definitely a World War II soldier here. Quite possibly as well. There may be other spirits here. I know there were World War I soldiers here. And I also know that they use convicts to build Fort Woodward. I'm going to put this away. I thank you for your time. there you go peeps it's uh, a little bit of a um, little bit of activity I need to now go back uh, go back home and go through it go through the footage see if anything got picked up it's a bit of a shame that it drained a couple of batteries because uh, I had another camera uh, that I had rolling as well and the EVP uh, got drained and all so I think there was definitely some activity going on here um, I do know that there's a World War II uh, soldier uh, spirit of him or her um, don't know if it's a he or she however um, hopefully uh, this camera's uh, maybe picked up some voices that I didn't hear and also I couldn't quite hear what the spirit box was saying so I need to listen back to that as well so anyway please subscribe to our channel and uh, bear with us because we've got some great footage to share with you guys so uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll be back with you soon